Hey everyone, what's up? It's a cute animated Pixar movie about... <laughs> no, I'm not using that. Welcome back to my channel where everything is figure outable. If you're new here, I'm Sierra, a trained astrophysicist where I use those skills to analyze movies and see if they really could have happened or not. Anyway, today we're doing the movie Up if you hadn't already guessed it. Of course, you know, even if you haven't seen the movie from the trailer, you can see that there's a house flying with a whole bunch of balloons. So my question is, I want to figure out, is this actually possible? How many balloons would you actually need to be able to lift up a house to fly? And just because we're being practical here, and this channel's all about being a little bit nitpicky on these different movies, how much would that actually cost? Like, there's no way that helium is going to be cheaper than getting an airplane ticket, right? I mean, I guess he is <laughs> moving with all of his stuff, like literally his entire house. So if those memories are so important to him to keep it, to use the balloon method instead of like a normal person moving method, how much is that going to cost him? Okay. But before we get into answering all those questions, let's go ahead and rewatch some of these scenes so we just get an idea in our head again of, you know, the amount of the balloons and um, kind of the context of, of what was going on. I want to say one last goodbye to the old place. Sure. Take all the time you need, sir. That's typical. He's probably going to the bathroom for the 80th time. <sighs> you think he'd take better care of his house? That's a lot of balloons. <laughs> okay, let's try another scene. This movie is so sweet. Okay. The first question I want to solve is how many balloons it would actually take to lift up his house. I mean, I gotta guess at least a million, right? I don't know how much one balloon can lift, but like, a house is pretty heavy. So yeah, we're gonna need to break this down. Break it down, down. All right, my Apple Pencil is charged and ready to go. So, we need to estimate the mass of this house. So let's Google it. Oh, okay. Google is saying 100,000 pounds. I don't know anything about houses. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go with it. That seems like a lot, but you know, a house should be a lot. So, weight of the house is about a hundred thousand pounds. In science, we don't use pounds. We use like grams, kilograms, so let's convert this. So now we have the mass is... So let's say... <laughs> because I don't feel like writing down all the numbers. 4.5 times 10 to the seven grams. That, that's a big number. Now what do we do? We can approximate by assuming all of the balloons are gonna have the same amount of helium in it and all be able to carry the same amount of mass. How much can a balloon lift? A standard helium balloon can lift around 14 grams. Uh-huh, okay. One balloon, let's say, can lift 14 grams. Oh, okay. This is easy now. I see the way. 
So if our house is 4.5 times 10 to the 7 grams and one balloon can lift 14 grams, have our units cancel out so we're left with a unit of balloons that's what we're looking for <laughs> yeah that's that's more than a million balloons <laughs> we're left with uh, approximately three million balloons in case you're not really familiar with scientific notation this means a three with six zeros behind it. So that's three million. <laughs> that's three times the amount I estimated. Or I guessed initially, I mean. Is this three million? There's no way. I wonder if they know how many they animated. How many balloons did Pixar, is it Pixar or Disney? Pixar animate and up? Oh yeah, 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 it's Pixar, it's Pixar. Apparently, Pixar commented on this, and they said they used 10,297 balloons for floating scenes and 20,622 no, 20, for when Carl's house lifts off. That's not 3 million, bro. <laughs> ah, you're telling me that this, this here is only like 10,000 balloons so 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 there would be 300 times more balloons if it were like real in the animation okay 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 next question let's say we are we were going to get 3 million balloons and go to our local party store how much would this actually cost ooh okay I found a deal because if you're gonna get a three million balloons, your boy needs a deal. I found at a party store near me, you can get 12 latex balloons for $15. Oh, and that comes with helium included in the price. So if we have three million balloons, And we can get 12 balloons for $15. Boom, boom. Dimensional analysis. Then that's gonna give us... <laughs> oh boy. So, so <laughs> that's gonna give us... Three million dollars, seven hundred and fifty thousand what what did i say <laughs> three million seven hundred and fifty thousand dollars sheesh that boy he's rich wait where is he going paradise somewhere paradise falls right oh paradise falls is in venezuela oh where's like a neutral location in the u.s to estimate a flight from Maybe like California or something? New York? I don't know. Let's go. Los Angeles. Oh wait, duh. Where is he? Where does he live? Why does nobody know this? Nobody knows. I just want to know where Carl lives so I can calculate the price of an airplane ticket. Chat GPT, do you know? It doesn't say. It just says he lived in a small house in the city. Do you know how many cities there are in the US? Okay, let's go with our original plan and go from Los Angeles. We're gonna go from LAX to, to Venezuela somewhere. Hmm, maybe the capital we can go. Caracas, Venezuela, sure. There, there are no, no flights. Okay, <laughs> this is not helpful. Maybe we are un un unallowed to fly to Venezuela right now. How to travel to Venezuela? On this channel, we chase our random thoughts. 
I said, how to travel to Venezuela? The U.S. Department of State says, do not. <laughs> okay, but actually, how do we get there? Okay, now I see Carl's problem. Okay, what if we say how to fly to Venezuela from USA? Okay, I found a third-party site that I've never heard of before. Uh, so we're gonna try it. I don't need a round trip. We're moving to Venezuela. Oh yes, the cheapest one, the cheapest one. We don't want, we don't need the best. The cheapest. You know what? If, if, if this guy was already gonna have to spend almost four million dollars, we don't need the cheapest. This is not the grad student mindset, okay? We just want the quickest. <laughs> Ah, this is funny. So to go from Los Angeles, you have to fly to Istanbul and then you can go from Inst Istanbul to Caracas. Ah, politics. I mean, in the movie, they have trouble with money, right? Like they're like saving up in the tip jar or like the coin jar and then things keep happening they have to break it and use the funds and that's the whole reason they can't go so what did he went the cheapest like where is this man getting three four million dollars for three million balloons this is the part that's unrealistic okay you want to know another question i have though have you ever tried to inflate a whole bunch of balloons like that, that takes quite some time how long would it take to blow up three how many balloons three million balloons <laughs> let's google this i wonder if the answer is on google Ex excuse me why are these the top three answers well one of them is okay the others no Deep, deep in Reddit, because that's where people know the most niche things. Someone, someone said a regular balloon shouldn't take more than a minute or so to fill and tie with a ribbon. That's important. I didn't think about the string. You would have to tie on the string and also like presumably secure it down somehow because if you didn't secure the balloons down then your house is just gonna go without you a minute is a long time though if you're gonna if you're gonna blow up three million of these balloons i would assume that you would find a way to make it faster or maybe you just get really really fast at it because you're doing so many so let's be generous and give 30 seconds to blow up a balloon okay so if we have again three million balloons and it takes us say 30 seconds to blow up and tie a balloon so per balloon boop boop that's going to be 9 times 10 to the 7 seconds. That's a lot of seconds. How many years is that? There's 3,600 seconds in an hour. 24 hours in a day. 365 days in a year. Are you ready for this? Nice. Which is approximately three years. What? Okay. Hold, hold on a minute. I remember from throwing birthday parties and blowing up balloons. You have to wait till the like last minute. The, as late as you can to blow up the balloons. Because they deflate so quickly. Wait, how long, how long can a balloon last? Oh no, this guy is in trouble. <laughs> the, 
the lifespan of a typical latex balloon will start to noticeably deflate within 12 to 24 hours. He doesn't have three years to blow it all up. He better have a lot of friends. <laughs> but the whole thing, the whole movie is about how he's a grumpy old man who's a loner. He don't have that many friends. Okay, so let's recap everything we've learned. Is it possible to have enough balloons to make your house fly? Yes. Is it realistic? No. Not unless you have a lot of money and a lot of friends, or you have so much money you're willing to pay so many people to blow up all the balloons. And okay, I guess if you have that money, why are you cheaping out on the latex balloons? Like, get some premium quality balloons that are gonna hold the helium much longer than 24 to 48 hours because I don't think you can really travel that far. I mean, maybe to another state, but you're certainly not gonna make it from the US to Venezuela. So yes, today we learned everything is figure outable if you're willing to Google enough, follow your random thoughts, and do some approximations. If you have other specific movie scenes that you'd like me to review, let me know down in the comments. And not just the movie, let me know the specific scene so I can find it and not have to watch the entire movie to try and figure out or guess what you're talking about. Anyway, it's been a wild ride and it's been fun. Until next time.